my coffee. Just how you like it, black with a splash of cream and 24 sugars. <laughs> One of these is a Splenda. Comedy legend in the house, George Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. What an introduction. I, I'd like to that to follow me the rest of my life. Hey, you know what? I was going to ask you, if you ever need a hype woman, I, I'm totally down for the job, George. I'm, I'm doing great here. You're hired. <laughs> You're hired. Hey, let's catch up our viewers here on where the family picks up for season two. I know there are certain surprises around every corner, but but tell us where you're at. Yeah, you know, the family picks up, you know, there's uh, some last season, there was an issue with alcohol at the end. Over the, over the summer, we decided that we would so, do where, and I, actually personally on that same journey that uh, of, uh, of uh, giving up alcohol. And, and so the 10 episodes take us through that. And also amongst the, you know, the great guest stars, Jaime Camille, who was on um, uh, Jane the Virgin, stars uh, uh, on the episodes that will air while we're talking uh, uh, as my, uh, my ex-wife Rosie's new love interest. So, you know, it's it, in, and the reality of when somebody gets divorced and then somebody decides to date it, it is not easy. It's not easy to be around. It's not easy to see. And understanding that, we thought that would be a great uh, arc to have to play this, you know, incredibly handsome guy to come on the show and sweep my ex-wife off her feet. Hey, nothing like a little uh, competition there, right? Nothing to make you push her in your place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hey, speaking of real life family, obviously we got to talk to your daughter last season, Maya, and she's so incredible. Uh, she's got to have tons of comedy in her genes, especially from her dad. When it comes to the show though, who's giving pointers to who? Are you taking pointers from Maya? Is she taking pointers from you? How's it work? Yeah, you know, Maya's done a great job at at picking up this whole, you know, uh, multi-camera acting. And, you know, I don't really tell her much. You know, as a father, I don't think I I, I can be the, an actor and a father. You know, I'd let the people handle that. But once in a while, I'll say, you know, just wait a second there. Or, you know, um, 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 at the at the end of this, I'm going to add something and I let them know. And, uh, you know, much like a, a, a team that's played well together, we came back the second season right hot, you know, of these 10 episodes. And I think people will see the difference in the first and second episode in the uh, season and enjoy the second season. It's over really fast. And, I, and so far, it's been great. And I think people will love the remaining episodes. Hey, speaking of all the family, you know, situations that you draw for from in real life, do you constantly have people coming up to you and saying, this is exactly what my family does? It's like you're taking a, a page out of my book. Yeah, you know, I got that a lot with the stand-up. You know, we talked about things like, you know, the 7-Up and about not going to the doctor and about, you know, the Yorona and the bedtime stories and, you know, baby-proofing the, the house and all those things that were so uh, successful in my stand-up. You know, so, so the stand-up career has been able to give the TV guy and the TV families things that nuances that are very uh not seen that much on regular television shows and become almost like a staple to us and and uh, and our family hey something that doesn't go unmissed in one of the episodes you say you're in your forgive your forgiving era you're on your era's tour is george lopez a taylor swifty are you a swifty fan george you know, George Lopez did a movie with with Taylor Swift called Valentine's Day. Oh when yeah, she was dating Taylor Taylor Lautner. It's the go to <laughs> Valentine's movie, uh, gangly, awkward, funny, and I would have to say, you know, my career has been a bit of a surprise, but I'm so proud of what she's able to have done and and still doing, changing the world's economy. It's uh, it's fantastic. Hey, you guys really do put the fun back in dysfunctional. Do you love having people kind of like go around with a tagline of yours, ta loca? And even if some people don't even know what that means, right? You really resonate and you touch some of these families with, yeah, that, that's exactly how I feel too. You know, I, we were doing this thing. We we're going, all right, you know, and, you know, Bryce Gonzalez, who's on the show, plays my grandson. He's from, you know, he's from Houston. That kid is, uh, you know, the guy that Matt Shively, who plays Mayan's boy, uh, a partner, it was a child actor. And he said, that kid is the best child actor that I've ever seen. He's, that kid's really amazing. We love Bryce. We love him so much. He's definitely been on Houston Life before as well. And finally, George, I just have to tell you, um, your head of hair is looking the best that I have ever seen it. <laughs> How do you get these locks to stay so luscious? <laughs> you know, I just, I just had a nice cut. You know, I just had a nice cut. I was let, deciding to let it grow. 
I was dying it for a while, but you know, I think I think we can send that message to all guys. We're we're really not fooling anybody. <laughs> um and and I decided that most guys are losing their hair at my age, 62. And if you got it, flaunt it. If you got it, flaunt it. You got it. George Lopez, thank you so much. Lopez versus thank Lopez, you. right here on KPRC2 every Tuesday night, seven o'clock. Thank you so much. And we just love seeing more thank of you. you guys. Come visit us in Houston soon, oh, okay? Thanks. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Thank you. I will.